Hello all and welcome here to Fraher Field for the JJ Cavan and Sons Under 20C Hurling County Final between Cushbreed and Valley Gunner of the East. Of course, Cushbreed reaching this final, having won the Western Final where they overcame near neighbours, Valley Duff on the scoreline of 226 to 37. Valley Gunner, their opponents today, of course, winning the Eastern Final when they overcame city rivals Aaron Zone in a thrilling game. To start today's coverage, of course, we'll go through the two teams and we'll begin with the Cushbreed team. In goal, wearing number one, Keen O'Brien. Number two, Stephen Roach. Number three, Alan Hurley. Number four, Ian Martin. Number five, Owen Lenehan. And a change in the Cushbury team sees number six, Darius Balan, replaced by number 14, Shane Cronin. In the middle of the field, wearing number seven, we've Podrick Hines, and he's partnered by number eight, Shane Martin. The half four line sees a number nine jersey taken by Jack McDonald, the number 10 jersey at centre forward, Tom Dalton. And a second change, she's number 11, Kieran Lenhen, replaced by number 15, Callum McCarthy, on the Cushbury team. The inside line seems the ever dangerous number 12, Jake Henley, take his place in the two man full forward line, and alongside him will be number 13, Adam McSweeney. The Valley Gunner team sees under 20 county panelist Keane Troy man the goals in the number one position. Number two, Daniel Kiley. Number three, Tony Brennan. Number four, Tom Fitzgerald. In the half back line, we have number five, Rob Maguire. And a change on the Valley Gunner team sees number six, Mark O'Donnell, replaced by number 17, Ross Delahunty. In the centre of the field for the black and red team, of course, in the east is number seven, Donna Cooney, and he's joined by number eight, Tommy Phelan. The half forward line sees the number nine jersey taken by Owen Cuddihy, number 10, Darren Olin, and finishing out the half forward line, number 11, Gavin Buckley. In the inside line, of course, two man full forward line here in the 13 aside game. Number 12 jersey is taken by Charlie Whitty, and number 13 jersey to finish out the Valley Gunner team, Owen Max Sweeney. So fascinating game, looks like it's gonna be taking place here today in Friar Field, of course, this game postponed from last week when the frozen conditions meant the pitch was unplayable. Man in the middle tonight, of course, Martin Curran from Old Parish, very experienced referee, and he'll surely have a quick, fast-flowing game of hurling here. Helped out the sideline by Alan Kissan, who's operating as the fourth official here in Farrer Field. <coughs> we'll keep you updated on any changes here. Some scoring sensations so far in this under 20 c championship over the last number of weeks. Podrick Hines in the centre of the field has scored two 20, 128 apologies in his previous two games, 110 against Ballyduff, and 18 against Stradley in the semi-final. Quick ball inside there, but cut out there by the Ballygunner half-back line, and quickly shot inside to their inside line. Picked up here by number 13, Owen McSweeney. Drifts off to the right-hand side, and off that right-hand side, he gets the opening score of the game. So Owen McSweeney with the opening score, this under-20. See JJ Cavanagh and Sons, Waterford County Hurling final. The number 13 for Valley Gunner gives their side the opening minute lead here in Farfield. Batted forward there by number four, Tom Fitzgerald. And this ball runs through again to that very dangerous inside line. Just comes off the top of the hurley there, Max Sweeney. And back go to Cushbreed half back line to help out their full back line. It's carried out here by number five, Owen Lennon, who's a point in the last of their two games. And out to the very dangerous Padraig Hines, of course, a Shamrock man has had an outstanding year for club. As we said, 128 in his last two games. Can he be the scoring sensation here today? That ball delivered in there with a diminutive Tommy Phelan. Excellent hurler with De La Salle all through the years. And he's found it inside. And it's picked up here by Charlie Whitty. 2-6 in the Eastern Final. And he shoots for goal. A fantastic save inside there by Keith O'Brien. Bally Gunner really on top here in the opening exchanges. They're inside line there. Charlie Whitty and Owen McSweeney proving a real handful here. And here's Hines. Number seven on his back, but playing in the middle of the field, of course, and he delivers a ball long inside there. Is that a push in the back? No play on to the referee. And number four there, Tom Fitzgerald goes all the way back. He picks that, but stumbles under pressure from three, four Cushbury players. And a chance here for Cushbury to open their scoring after one minute and 35 seconds. Be interesting to see who takes these frees. Tom Dalton, of course, had one point from a free in the Western final. He looks like he's going to leave this off. Two Padre Hines, 110 against Bally Duff in the Western final here. Five of those scores coming from Freeze. Can he open his account here in this County C under 20 hurling final? Looks like there's an injury perhaps for one of the Benny Guller players. I think it could be number four, Tom Fitzgerald. Seemed to go over and he's ankling that exchange there. Bally Gunner sideline, extremely experienced there. Ian Kenny, David Walsh, of course. Many years senior hurling experience with Valley Gunner. They're on run the line here for Valley Gunner. Padre Hines lifts and strikes. Just looks like he's going to keep it outside that right-hand post. Just seemed to dive off at the last minute. And indeed, it looks like Valley Gunner are going to be forced into a change. So one wide so far here for Padre Hines in that free. About five or six metres in there. 
from the right hand touchline not the easiest strike looked like it was heading over the bar but just died off to the right at the last minute puck out here from Keane Troy what a luxury it is for Bally Gunner to have this man here playing under 20 C hurling of course sub goalie in the water in 2020 team last year long ball delivered in here it's picked out by number 13 here Adam McSweeney he had one point the last day against Bally Duff. he sprays it back into the middle looking there for Tom Dalton he had seven points against Bally Duff, including one free but he's dispossessed and here's Tommy Phelan's second possession of the game he smartly plays inside to his midfield partner Donna Cooney and he's looking inside again for that dangerous inside line it's the white helmet of Charlie Whitty he's going to spray it across looking for his centre forward here Darren Nolan Nolan had 10 points against Aaron's own he looks like he's going to go for a goal here just over the crossbar from 20 yards out was rising all the time had a goal chance but drove it high and it just went over the crossbar so a second point here and a first for Darren Nolan but he got her into a two-point lead here three minutes and 30 seconds they're forced into an early change here with Harry Phelan coming on to replace number four the unfortunate Tom Fitzgerald who picked up an injury only two minutes into this county final short puck out there doesn't work out for Cush Breed but that situation is rectified inside there by the half back line and they're going to be a free out there fantastic play there by Owen Lennon in the number five and he's going to take this on himself he's going to drive it in long looking inside for Adam McSweeney but the ball breaks picked up here by number 15 Callum McCarthy a late replacement of the team he plays back out to Tom Dalton and the second wide here for the Shamrocks great play there by number 15 Callum McCarthy who's come into the team there and looks like he's gone inside that inside line with Adam McSweeney and perhaps Jake Henley's gone out to the wing forward position looking to pick up ball Puck out drops just inside the Cush Breed half back line. Scramble on the ground. Picked up here by Bally Gunner midfielder. Feeling again, he sprays it inside, looking for that dangerous inside line. Ah, oh, fantastic touch into the hand here. Comes off to the right, then jinx to the left. Settles the feet. Chance for a score. Three catches. Maybe too much time there in the hands of Owen Max Sweeney there. Looked like he'd lost his mark with a side set to the left. Tipped the ball off to Hurley into his hand. And Martin Kern, quick as a flash, blew the whistle for three catches. And it's going to be a chance here for Cush Breed to relieve the pressure. It's going to be Lenehan again, wearing five. He's going to strike down, looking into that right-hand corner. is the one they're always trying to play here, but it's blocked out again. And picked up by the substitute here. His first touch, number 19 there. Harry Phelan, he wins a free in his own half-back line. He looks like he's gone into left half-back on the Ballygunner team. Picking up number 13 there, Adam McSweeney. So Rob Maguire, number five there, leaves this one here for Keen Troy. Just on his own 45-yard line. Bally Gunner trying to leave all that space inside. A familiar tactic of their two inside forwards nearly stand inside the edge of the six-yard box. So opening up the two corners here. Where will Troy put this one? Lifts, strikes. He's going to try and drop it right into the small square. Looks like he's got too much on that one. And it stays left and wide in the first wide here. For Keen Troy, he might be disappointed with that one. He's inside four line, felt they were on top. They probably want that ball played low in front of them, but Troy elected to go for the shot and he knocked it left and wide. Keen O'Brien this time tries to drop it into midfield there in between the half back line, the half four line, breaks out of side. Tom Dalton goes after it, ably assisted there by Jake McDonald. Ball breaks, it's picked up again by Phelan. His fourth possession, he plays it back to his centre half back, Maguire, who plays it long inside. Fantastic first time catch there by Whitty, and he sprays it across again to number 10 there, Darren Nolan. Fantastic play by Bally Gunner, just got away from the hurley there of Nolan. Goes after, he turns back inside. He's going to shoot from a tight angle. What a score that'll be. As we said, he got 10 points in the Eastern final against the Aaron Zone, and he's got two here today. Bally Gunner, three points. Cush Breed, no score. Six minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here in Farfield. Super start so far here for Bally Gunner. Real danger inside from Charlie Whitty, Owen McSweeney and Darren Nolan. Puck out drops again but it's picked out there with a hand number seven. Donna Cooney the midfielder. He plays it back to field and is absolutely everywhere here for Bally Gunner the midfielder. And he sprays it outside to his number 11 Gavin Buckley. Buckley knocked to the ground there by number 13 Owen McSweeney. And Tom Dalton races away. He's been chased by two, three Valley Gunner players. He'll try and step outside. He's got his catches used. He'll have to play it off the hurley. Cleverly hops it off the ground, but in the soft conditions, doesn't come back up. He manages to roll it back up into himself. Will he get the free or advantage? Strikes high over the right hand shoulder. It looks like it's going to be another wide here for Cush Breed. So their third wide today. The second there for Tom Dalton under real pressure there from Maguire, Phelan, and the replacement, Harry Phelan.
try goes long looking down into that left half forward position two Bally Gunner players after one smartly moves off ball braces the ground is feeling there again help, helped out with the replacement number 19 Harry feeling tipping the helmet there of Nolan referee has the arm up for advantage and that quick ball into the corner again is in front and Bally Gunner look dangerous here every time they get the ball inside Dispossessed though by number three, Alan Hurley. Great play there by the Cush Breed fullback and a relieving clearance there from then. And he plays down into that corner again. But a cross comes from Maguire, the centre half back, and he clears it back into that dangerous corner. Just ball runs past Hurley and it's picked up first time by McSweeney. He's advancing across the 13. He steps back outside onto that right hand side. Going to shoot it across the goal, but it's right and wide. He'll be disappointed with that one. He lost his marker by stepping back inside, flashed it across the face of the goal, looking for that score. But another wide here for Bally Gunner. So there's second wide the day. One from Owen Maxween, of course. That opening wide from Keen Troy. So Keen O'Brien looks at his options here again. This time he's going to go down and look at that right half forward position. Hines comes out underneath that, but it's knocked off of him. And again, we've said it a number of times so far. The excellently skillful there. Feeling the wearing number eight, Tommy Feeling. Plays it outside there to Nolan and Feeling's gone inside again. Nolan shoots. This one looks like it's going to drop short there. It's going to be contested inside by number 12 there, Charlie Whitty. But out comes the fullback there. Great play by number two, Daniel Kiley, of course. Two-man fullback line in this game here. Two and three playing inside there for Cush Breed. Kiley and, sorry, Stephen Roach and Alan Hurley doing a great job inside there for Cush Breed. Flipped outside here and here's a danger man, Padraig Hines. His first chance of open field in front of him and he strikes off that right-hand side. And it's going to stay right and wide. So another wide there for Padraig Hines. He's second wide. Both of them to the right-hand side. Both of them shooting off his right-hand side. He'd be disappointed with that to miss on the near side. So a short puck out here from Troy this time. Goes to his number two, Daniel Kiley. Kiley picks it, steps inside there. Number 15, Callum McCarthy. Gives it to his centre half back there, Maguire, who cleverly plays it back to Troy. Troy assesses his options. He's going to go long here, looking inside for that full four. And it's going to land all the way inside the 20-yard line. Over the head, maybe, of the two first players. Going to be picked up here dangerously by number 13, Max Sweeney. And he shoots it over the bar. Another score here for Bally Gunner. Route one stuff here from Bally Gunner. Ball played back from Maguire to Keane Troy. He opened the shoulders. The danger's inside with those two players. The break and ball is picked up by Max Sweeney. And he's got his second point of the game. So four points for Bally Gunner. Two for old Max Sweeney. And two for Darren Olin. Quick ball inside here for Cushbury. It's picked up. It's played across there towards Tom Dalton. Dalton will come back inside that right-hand side. Felt he's going to be blocked down. Tries to shoot it into the corner there. Looking for his inside man. McDonald, he has it. Can he take on his man and get a score? Callum McCarthy flicks it back outside there. A shot by number nine there. Jake, Jack McDonald. But it's going to be a free out there for a throw ball, says Martin Kern. Keen Troy will come out halfway between his own 21 to 45 yard line. Will he go route one again looking inside? Looks to play that space. Knocked down there by the full back line. Who's going to win the race this one? It's picked up by number five. Lenehan just misses the first time but gets it the second time. He's onto his right hand side. He's going to strike down the line looking for player with Harry Feeling. He's going to smother this one up inside his own half back line. He's got Maguire inside him free. He turns outside and he's got Tommy Feeling. Clever little hurley pass into the number eight. Number eight looks his options, plays inside, doesn't catch that one properly. Doesn't get to his intended target, target with Dara. Nolan nips inside there, but he's dispossessed and Owen Lennon has it. He cleverly plays a short hurley pass there to Padraig Hines. Hines is on his own 65-yard line. He tries to go past field and surely a foul. Advantage hits the referee and Hines shoot, shoots right and wide. I think he'll be called back for free indeed. Martin Kern indicates he was playing advantage and it's going to be another chance here for Padraig Hines himself who had that shot to the right and wide to take a free five yards inside the Bally Gunner half can Cushbury get their first score after 12 minutes here it's four points to Bally Gunner no score to Cushbury Cushbury so far have had four wides two from Hines and two from Tom Dalton they've had opportunities but just haven't been able to put the ball between the post in this opening 12 minutes the real danger today of course looks to be coming from Owen McSweeney Darren Olin and Charlie Whitty in that Bally Gunner full forward line Probably yet to see the Cush Breed forward line ignite. So Podrick Hines maybe robbed two or three yards here. He's just outside the 65, so almost similar to a 65. 
he'll hit this ball just in the 65 yard line looks like it might just climb over but Keane Troy rises over the crossbar catches that ball just about to dip over the bar and here come Bally Gunner on the attack again and Maguire off that left hand side strikes it into the corner number 17 here Ross Delhunty chasing that one but it's picked up here by number 4 Ian Martin Martin is fouled there by a combination of Nolan and Delahunty. and it looks like Martin Curran might flash the first card here heavy tackle on the Cush Breed number 4 there He's calling over Darren Nolan, the number 10, of course, centre forward on a 13 man team. Having a quick word, just a tick of the name there, I think, for Darren Nolan from Martin Kern, the old parish official. So Lenehan stands over this one just beyond two or three yards beyond his own 45 yard line. He's a point in each of the last games from half back. Outside his range this time, so he's going to try and play it into his four line. Tries to pick out Tom Dalton, just comes off the fingertips of Dalton and picked up here by number five, Maguire. He strikes long off the left hand side, gets it over the head there, then and dangerously inside the inside line. First touch into the hand there from Whitty, he plays it back out to Nolan. Nolan loading the shoulders and shoot. Fantastic score from Bally Gunner. We've seen it so many times this year with their senior team. Quick ball inside to the inside line, and always the player outside to take the pass off the inside player and knock it over the bar from 45 yards. Puck out, not caught clean. He looks at a drop here to number 12, Charlie Whitty. Whitty's on the attack. He's gone through the 45. He's faced up there by Lenehan. And he goes straight over the bar. So six points here. Three points for Darren Olin. And a first score today here for Charlie Whitty. As we said, he 2-6 in the Eastern final. He's got his opening score here today. Slight mistake in the goal there by Keen O'Brien. That puck out didn't catch it cleanly. This time he decides to go long. But it's going to be picked out here by the Bally Guff, Bally Gunner half back line. So number nine there. Owen Cuddy plays a ball down into the side here. It's picked out again by the number 10, Nolan. He's going to shoot. Real sharp shooter here. He's got his fourth score of the game. Unerring so far, almost Darren Nolan there. Anytime he gets the ball in his hand, he's looking to shoot. And he's an excellent shooter. Four points so far. Ball down there. Try to be picked out, but falls out of the hands of Cushbury, number 15 there. Callan McCarthy. Tommy Phelan picks it up and it's picked up it now by number 13, Owen McSweeney. He comes back inside onto the 45. Looks to shoot off that right-hand side. Looks like it's going to stay inside that left-hand post, but indeed it doesn't. It stays left and wide. Looked like that one was going to drift over the bar for a third score today from Owen McSweeney, but it stays wide. And the score remains. Seven points to Bally Gunner. Cushbury, no score after nearly 15 minutes. Another short puck out goes wrong from O'Brien, but it runs through the hurley there, Della Hunty, and it's picked up by Tom Dalton, who tries to spray it quickly as he can inside to that inside line, but it's cut out by Bally Gunner. And here's Maguire, he's going to launch another attack, plays it outside the full back line, excellent ball inside there for forward, and Whitty comes out together, but he's dispossessed by the Stephen Roach. Just comes off the hurley there, that pass intercepted, and the danger man, Owen Max Sweeney, has it. He'll look for a point, shoots it hard across the goal, and indeed it's over the bar. So a third score. For Owen McSweeney inside this opening 16 minutes, four for Darren Olin, three for Owen McSweeney, and one for Charlie Whitty makes it Bally Gunner eight points, and Cush Breed awaiting their opening score of the game here in Farfield. JJ Cavanagh and Sons under 20C hurling final, of course, postponed from last week when the frozen pitch made conditions unplayable. So Keen O'Brien takes his time this time, he'll surely go long. Looking down into his right half forward position, Tom Dalton comes out underneath this when he tries to break it down, but it's broken forward there by a combination of Maguire and Nolan. And inside here, Nolan has it. Can he get a touch in the ball? Just flicks away from him. Excellent play there by the Cush Breed. Full back line again. It's number two there, Stephen Roach, who intercepted there, drove out strongly with the ball, played it off to his full back partner, and it struck long. Ball just runs past there, number nine. Jack McDonald is picked up here by his opposite number, Owen Cuddy. Bally Gunner calmly through the hands here, Tommy Phelan, we haven't mentioned his name in the last couple of minutes, but he's been really influential in the opening 16, 70 minutes here, Padraig Hines takes off, he's faced up by his opposite number there, number 7, Donna Cooney, he puts a hand across the shoulder, and it's going to be a chance here for Cush Breed to get their opening score, the last free that Hines took from this distance was just beyond the 65, this time he's just inside the 65, so going by the averages, he should have the distance. Linesman here asking Paul Hines to come back another yard or two. So he's actually back more or less where he just dropped the last free short. So 17 minutes on the clock here. Eight points, Bally Gunner. No score for Cush Breed. Can they open their account? Five points from free the last eight out from Paul Hines. Can he get his own opening score here today? Looks to have caught this one a small bit better. Keen tries looking over his crossbar. Indeed, we have it. The first score today here for Cush Breed. 
comes from Padraig Kynes, as we said, 118 the last two games, 110 against Ballyduff and 18 points against Stravely. Of course, that game against Stravely went to extra time. So Troy, looking to pick out a Valley Gunner player here, drills it low inside to his half forward line. Ball broken out there by two players, chased hard there by both half back lines. It's picked up here by Hines again, the man who just opened the account. Is he too far to shoot off that left hand side? Comes back in the right, tries to play it across there, looking for the Cush Breed inside line. Is this going to be two scores in a row? And Jake Henley just right and wide. Henley's been a real score and star so far in the championship. He had 1 5 against Bidoff and 2 4 against. Strabby, that's his first real clean possession of the game so far. And shot off his right, just went to the right and wide. This time, Troy drills it low down the middle, but he overcooks that one, goes to Owen Lennon. We mentioned he had a point in either of the games so far, the semi final and the Western final, but this attempt just drops short into the hands of Keane Troy. And Bally Gunner will counter attack now. He's got Kylie outside him. Kylie plays a short hurley pass up to number eight. Phelan, Phelan has it. He's been stepped up there by Callum McCarthy, but he's managed to get away from him off his right-hand side. Sprays it across the field there. Very clever play. Looking for his number 11 there, Gavin Buckley, but just slips out of the fingertips of Buckley. And the Cush Breed half-back line managed to bring that ball to ground with Bally Gunner once again claimed that one. It's going to be a free there, and this free is won by number seven, Donna Cooney. Five yards beyond the Bally Gunner 65-yard line here. Looks like it's going to be Darren Nolan's going to come over and hit this one. Four points already today in this under 20 C county final. Can he make it five and reach 50% of the total that he got in the Eastern final against Aaron Zone? Looks like he's going to go short here. Keen tries to come all the way up from the goal here. Snuck up the right hand side. No one saw him. Is he going to have a point to his name here with a drop short? And Witty can't keep it in. Very clever play there from the belly gunner goalkeeper. As soon as the ball was put onto the ground. He raced out of the goal, made himself available for that short free, but unlucky not to put it over the bar. Short puck out here to Stephen Roach from Keane O'Brien. Roach just man drops it, managed to get a third time. Vasco just gives a chance there for the belly gunner full four line to come in there and put him under pressure. He's forced to strike it long inside there towards number 15, Callum McCarthy. But number 19 there, Harry Fields inside there. He picks that one. Fantastic play with 19. Managed to squeeze a hand pass out to Darren Nolan. They might have been disappointed he didn't shoot there himself from that free shot on the free and played a short to Troy in along the ground there, pushing the backs of the referee. I think that was gathered excellently in there by number 13, Old Max Sweeney, but Martin Kern had the whistle blown. And it's going to be a free here on the 45-yard line, and this time I'm sure that Darren Nolan will shoot for the post and get his fifth score today. Fantastic catch there by Old Max Sweeney, sliding into the ball there. I had David Clifford in the football a couple of weeks ago, gathered the ball as he was sliding in, but pushing the back was the, said the referee. And it's going to be a chance here for Darren Olin to get his fifth point of the day. Lifts and strikes. Indeed. Over the bar. So nine points here for Valley Gunner. One point for Cushbreed. This time O'Brien goes down to that same side again. But that man again, he's everywhere. Tommy Phelan, he breaks through the 65, tries to get a score this time, but doesn't look like he's going to have the legs. going to drop into the hand there. The goalkeeper gathers it well under pressure and calmly plays out to his ha centre half back there, Owen Lennon. He's going to be confronted there by number 13, Max Sweeney, but he steps inside him. He's been chased by Witty. Reverse hand pass there, gives it out, but it just goes through the hands of Hines and it's picked up here by Cooney. Cooney has it under pressure. He's faced up by Lenehan and Hines. Over carrying, says Martin Curran. Great pressure there from Padraig Hines and Lenehan, and it's going to surely be 10 yards there. For a small bit of gamesmanship there from Donna Cooney, just as Paul Hines was to take that quick free, he flicked the hurley and Hines couldn't take it. So he's going to be brought in 10 yards there by Martin Kern and a chance for Hines to double his tally and get a second score here tonight. He's halfway between the 45 and the 65, maybe seven or eight yards to the right of the goal. Tom Dalton goes looking for a short, but I think Hines would be better off to put this one over the bar and get a second score here for Cush Breed. He lifts, he strikes low trajectory, but just will shoot over the bar. Troy puts up the hurley, thought about catching it, but probably ball was travelling a bit quick, put up the hurley and flicked it over the bar for safety. Nine points to two here, two points for Padraig Hines from Freeze for Cush Breed. 22 minutes on the clock here in Fraherfield in this refixed under 20C hurling county final sponsored by JJ Cavanagh and Sons. Long ball there, it's broken out by Lenehan. Lenehan goes after that. His own broken ball was picked up here by number eight, Shane Martin. His first real involvement has been quite so far in the game. He plays to Hines. Hines has a shoot down to the corner. They're trying to play this right hand corner the whole time. Ah, oh, fantastic play there by Daniel Kiley, the number two. And he's racing up the sideline, being chased here 
by Tom Dalton. Dalton just does enough to get enough pressure number two and excellently picks up the ball, spins off to his right hand side and drills it down the line, trying to give to Callan McCarthy. But number 15, the late replacement, can keep it in play. And Harry Phelan has it. He's looking to take that quick line ball. Looked like he wanted to leave it there to Daniel Kiley. But Phelan himself is going to strike. It doesn't catch it cleanly. Very short grass there against Silent. McCarthy has it now. He's gathered the ball. He's racing away from the 65. He's got Hines outside him. Hines will try and go through the tackle. He uses his strength to brush off there. Phelan tries to hand pass it out to the player here. Number nine. Jack McDonald. McDonald's going inside 21. A goal will be a super score here. He plays inside to the danger man. Oh, what a goal there by Jay Kenley. Fantastic. He's got three goals these last two games. Now he's got four goals in three games. 1-5 against Ballyloff. 2-4 against Strabley. And he's got a goal here now against Ballygunner in the county final. What a score there. Made by Podrick Hines. Ran all of 50 yards. Took the hand pass, played inside to Henley, and Henley goaled it to bring Cushbreed right back into this game. 1 2 to 9 points. Four point game here when it looked like Bally Gunner were going to run away with it. But it's going to be a swing here now again. It's inside here. Can McSweeney get away? Maybe a clever foul there by Alan Hurley in the full back line for Cushbreed. Probably felt that McSweeney was going to get away from him after a pivotal score there where Cushbury just got a goal. He didn't want to give up another easy goal to the end and Hurley probably willing to take a foul there for the team and restrict Ballygunner to a goal chance. So Darren Olin, five points so far in the game. Can he get a six point? That goal, a real lifeline here for Cushbury. Brings him to within four points, but is it going to go back out to five points here now with this free from Nolan? He lifts and strikes and calmly knocks it over the bar. So 10 points, plays 1-2, double score game here. 10 plays 5, 25 minutes on the clock here. That goal might really breed some life into this game when it might have been fearful that Belly Gunner were just starting to stretch away from Cush Breed. And indeed, it's going to be a free in here for a pull down, I think. Great battle there in the middle of the field between Donna Cooney and Padraig Hines here. Hines just getting the upper hand at the moment. Plays a short ball there to Tom Dalton. Just goes over the hands of Dalton. He'll, he'll need to pick this one first time. He's through to 45. Can he get a score? Use his physical strength there to brush through the tackle. Can he knock that one over the bar? Just stays right and wide. We've seen that three or four times so far tonight from Cushbury. Just that last second of the ball diving off to the right-hand side. And just outside that right-hand post, we've had two from Padraig Hines and two from Tom Dalton going wide on that side. They'd be slightly disappointed with their shooting, especially after the high-scoring games they've had in the Western semi-final and final. Keen try drills this one low on hard, but it's going to go over the head of the half-forward line. And picked up there by who else but Padraig Hines is having a storming game in the middle of the field here. For Cush Breed, he's been chased by number 12 here, Charlie Whitty. Out from that full four line, Whitty just managed to get a hurley with Hines, cleverly flicks it inside and he's away again. He's up, his opposite number now is on him, Donna Cooney, and he plays it back outside here to Shane Martin. Martin's gone through the 45, he'll shoot out the left hand side, look to be a late tackle there. Will Martin Kern bring it back for free or will he play on? And the ball goes left and wide, so another wide there for Cushbury. They have the chances, they're just struggling to put the ball over the bar here at the moment in this county final. If they were slightly more accurate, they'd be closer than the five points that they are currently adrift. So Keane Troy, the last puck out, he drilled it low and hard, but it bypassed everybody. The half-back line midfield, be interested to see where he goes this one. This time he gives it more height. He's going to try and drop into a pocket in the belly gunner half-forward line. Hurley goes up there from Nolan, ball broken to the ground. Next score could be a crucial score. Can Bully, belly gunner extend their lead or can... Lenehan break out here for Cushbreed and bring it back to a four point game here. Owen Lenehan wearing number five, operating at centre half back, having a fantastic game here for the Western team. He'll strike this free himself. Tom Dalton, Jay Kenny leaving all the space inside in front of him. Maguire tries to drop back now and cover that pocket of space. Lenehan drops into the right hand corner. Tom Dalton going in there to assist his forward line there. Number 13, Adam McSweeney. It's picked up inside there by the Valley Gunner defence, but a quick hand pass just trying to keep it away from going over the line. There is Tom Dalton who went into his, his Max Sweeney and it's, he has the ball in his hand now. He's tackled by two, three Valley Gunner players. Will Martin Kern blow the whistle for a free? Dalton now faced up by three more players. Harry Phelan blocks that hand pass from Tom Dalton. Ball flicked out there. Real intensity starting to come into this game here since that goal. And number 17, Adele Hunt, he picks up that ball, but he's dispossessed in half foot forward line by Padraig Hines. He's been traced by three players here. Phelan working hard there with 
with number seven, Donna Cooney. See if he's pushing the back there, I think, by Paul Hines on number seven, Donna Cooney, and it's going to be a chance here for Baddy Gunner to clear their lines. Cush Breed really starting to lift the intensity here. Nolan strikes that ball long inside, a slip inside in the back line there by number 14, Shane Cronin. But he's going to recover and pick this ball after it's broken away, and he hand passes out into space. Roach will open the shoulders and drive this long. It's going to land inside there, but no one in there. Only Keane try. Jay Kenny comes short, looking for that short ball. Try reeves that one just outside the D and flicks it out here to Tommy Field, the number eight. He's got a runner outside him, but likes to go over the top. It's with his number nine there who cleverly steps inside Owen Cuddy. He plays it upside there to Donna Cooney. Cooney has it, but he's chased all the way back there by number nine, Jack McDonald. He shoots. Will this one stay right and wider? It's going to go over the bar. Oh, fantastic score there by Cuddy, the number nine, who played it up there to number seven, Donna Cooney, and he knocked it over the bar. What a score there from Bally Gunner. Makes it a six-point game here. 11 plays, 1-2. Keane O'Brien looking to go long. Just over the hands there, Paul Hines, but there Shane Martin pick it up. But he knocks it down here. Cush Breed on the attack. It's number 15, Callum McCarthy. Great speed in this player. He shoots high off the right-hand side. Looks like going to drop inside there to Henley. Henley tries to knock it down to himself. Can he flick it into the hand? Just knocked away from him there by number three, Tony Brennan. Real scram on the ground here. Max Sweeney inside there to help Henley. Can Cush Breed get another score before the half time? There's one minute left in the game here. Martin Curran going to blow the whistle and throw the ball in here at 21 yard line. Can Bally Gunner clear their lines and maintain their six point lead? Or can Cush Breed get another score and bring it back to five? Tom Dalton goes in for that one and goes through the two players. Hand passed outside here to the speedy McCarthy. Just comes off his fingertips. It goes to ground. It's picked up inside there by the Bally Gunner half back mm -hmm. line. They're going to try and spray it in first time, but not a clean strike here. But here's Delahunty, number 17. He's dispossessed. Shane Martin in there, dispossessed, feeling, Tommy feeling, ball scrams on the ground, Darren Owen, the centre half four is always back there, but it's picked up by number eight, Shane Martin, can he hand pass it over the top, tries to flick it out, but it's broken away there, and number nine, Cuddy, he's inside again to try and flick it away, and it's picked up by number ten, Nolan has it, he tries to hurley pass it, but couldn't get a clean connection, the ball goes to the ground again, a real scramble for the last 90 seconds here, who's going to come out with this one? You can be sure there'll be a massive roar from the crowd here, whoever gets this ball here, will Cushbury get a score, or can Bally Gunnar clear their lines? Martin Curran looking on intently, decides to bring those proceedings to a halt and he's going to throw in the ball as the clock hits 30 minutes here in Farfield. Indeed, he's going to call half time here, so just six seconds of injury time played in Farfield this first half. Enthralling first half hurling. That goal from Cush Breed giving them the lifeline they needed. 11 points to 1 2. Fantastic scoring so far. Darren Olin with 5 1. Max Sweeney. Darren Nolan with six, Old Maxini with three, Charlie Whitty one, and Donna Cooney with one as well. In reply, Podrick Hines with two points for Cush Breed, and that goal, of course, coming from Jake Henley. So half time score here in Farfield, 11 points, plays 1 2. A really strong half, first half here from Bally Gunner. They currently lead 11 points to 1 2. 11 plays 1 2, six point lead here for Bally Gunner. Scoring star that first half, number 10, Darren Olin, playing at centre half forward, of course, 13 aside, the number 10 jersey operates in that pivotal centre forward position. He's having a really strong game, but his opposite number as well, Tom Dalton, really to the fore for the Cush Breed side. Podrick Hines with two, their two scores, pointed scores, and Jake Henley with that crucial goal 10 minutes from the end of the first half there, breathed life into the Cush Breed cause can they fight back here and chip away at this Bally Gunner lead picked up here by Tommy Phelan but just dropped out of his hands as Martin Kern restarted the second half here who's going to get the opening score here in Farfield one feels if Cush Breed can get the opening score it'll give them a better chance at chipping away and indeed Podrick Hines off that left hand side is it going to go over the barrel it stays right and wide so his third wide, they had seven in the first half here. So an eight wide, three wides for Bally Gunner, seven for Cush Breed. Tells the tale of that first half, perhaps. Cush Breed would be disappointed with their shooting ratio. Two points and seven wides. Tells its own story of that first half. Keen Troy plays it down top of Darren Olin. Pulled hard in the air by Lenehan. 
picked up there by Shane Martin very quiet in the first half wins his first ball here in the second half he plays it inside but we picked up there by the retreating Daniel Kiley he steps inside a tackle here and it looks like he's played across the middle there dangerous ball is cut out there by Tom Dalton Dalton takes off he's got a player outside him he's on 30 yard line goes towards the 21 he'll have to drop it if he wants to get his catches back cleverly takes the ball back into possession used two catches again plays it inside there to number 12 Henley the goal scorer he steps outside and shoots off the right hand side it'll be a fantastic score if it drops over the bar Keane Troy perhaps had too much time there the ball was dropping out of the sky what seemed forever from Jay Kennedy he gets his second goal his first goal a classic strike his second goal a fortuitous strike came off the fingertips there a Keane Troy slight lapse in concentration from the water under 20 panellist and he drops the ball into the goal 2-2 Makes it a three-point game here. Real chance here for Cushbreed if he can get another score. But Tommy Phelan plays that ball low inside, looking for his inside line. Charlie Whitty gets out of the second time basket, spins away from Roach. He's on a 21-yard line. Dummies it off. Can he play it off to Hurley? He's confronted by two Cushbreed players. And they're retreating number five there. Owen Lenehan, one of the standout performers for Cushbreed. He plays it out to Hines. Hines opens the shoulders and tries to strike the ball long inside that forward line. We've another change here, number... 16 Jake Chambers is on for Cush Breed. We'll see who he replaces that long ball inside for Henley looking for the hat trick, but it's broken away from him and cleverly brick flicked out there by Kylie out to number nine Cuddy and he plays it out to number three Brennan and Brennan back to Troy. The Bally Gunner supporters urging Troy here to let the ball inside and he duly listens and delivers it down top of Darren Nolan. He tries to break it down for Delahunty. Delahunty steps inside, strikes off the left, looking inside for that dangerous inside line, perhaps starving the possession in the second half of the first half broken away there by Shane Cronin in the late replacement of the team too but it's picked up here by number 7 Dunna Cooney looking for his second score but it stays right and wide so a wide there for number 7 Dunna Cooney had one point the last point of the first half for Bally Gunner so 2-2 two -two plays 11 here 3 minutes into the second half ball over the top there picked up by number 15 there Callum McCarthy very speedy when he gets the ball in his hand here he takes off again he's been chased by two three players can he recycle it outside looking for Tom Dalton Dalton tries to pick it over to Hurley there he's held up and indeed he is it's a free in there Rob Maguire judged to have held on to Dalton there as he looked to chase that loose ball and a chance here for Padraig Hines to do the unthinkable and maybe make it back to a two point game it didn't look like that after about 15 or 16 minutes of the first half and Bally Gunner led by 7 or 8 points a chance here for Padraig Hines to get his third score of this County C Hurling final. He's about 55, maybe 56 yards from the Ballygunner goal in line with that left-hand post as he looks at it. The only score this second half being that fortuitous strike from Jake Henley. Hines drills it low. And Keane Troy puts up the Hurley for the second time and just taps it over the bar. So we're back to a two-point game here. 2-3 two, is 9, Bally Gunner 11. 34 minutes on the clock. I don't think Cushbury could have looked for a better start here. And here comes Troy now, marauding out from the goal, looking to rectify his earlier mistake from about 45 yards from his own goal. He drills it long inside, looking for Witty, who tries to kick it outside to Cooney. Shane Martin battled hard there. He managed to break it outside here. And it's number 14, Shane Cronin, who comes out. He's under pressure. He flicks the ball past the belly gunner. Attackers, and he wins a free. Fantastic play there by the number 14. All the way out from his own 20-yard line. Ran hard out of the fence. Dodged a number of tackles. Flicked the ball over to Hurley, one of the belly gunner players. And he chased after the loose ball. He was fouled by number 10 there, Darren Ole. And a chance here now. From Ton Dalton, he had seven points in the Western final. He had one of those from a free. Can he match that tally today and bring it back to a one-point game? Five minutes in here to the second half. He lifts and strikes. He's given it everything. Looks to be drifting left and wide. Just came across the back of that ball there. Took the spin on it. And a slight bit of a breeze there. Took it off to the left. So it remains a two-point game here. Keen try. He likes to go short this time. Out to his number seven. Number three, apologies, Tony Brennan, and he strikes down long. The County Warford minor captain from last year. The ball de breaks dangerously inside. And here is Cooney. He strikes. Shane Cronin just managed to block that into the goal there. He picks it a second time. Vasco advances out of defence here. He's been held up there by two, three players. 
Looks like the ball's going to break out here to Omax Sweeney. He had three points in the first half. It was ficked out to him there by Darren Olin. Scramble inside there and a free out. Fantastic play there by the Cushbreed rear guard. And it's that man again, Owen Lennon, who's having a storming game at centre half back here for Cushbreed. And he's going to strike it down long. Looking inside for the replacement, Jake Chambers breaks over his head. And onto it runs number nine, Jack McDonald. McDonald has it. He's been chased by his opposite number. And he's blocked down there by Rob Maguire. And here come Bally Gunner again. Cammy out through the fence. Kylie up to feel and feel. Looks to drip it into the corner there. Lovely ball upside there to Darren Nolan. Nolan has it. He turns back inside. Tries to flip it over the top, looking for his inside line. Max Sweeney there being followed the whole way there by Cronin. Slips behind in Cronin, but Cronin recovers. Gets his body over the ball and protects a fantastic play there by the Cushbreed, number 14. It's picked up here by Della Hunty, the number 17. He tries to flick it outside, comes off the hurley there. Whitty has it, Charlie Whitty. He turns and shoots, and it's over the bar for his opening score of this second half. So the opening score here for Valley Gunner. Whitty's third score. 12 plays 9. Long puck out here on top of Tom Dalton. Flicked out there by Kylie. Looking for Feeling. Feeling can't get it the second time of asking. The ball pops out to the side here. Who's going to get this one? Shane Martin goes low to try and roll pick it. But it's flicked away from him. And Tom Dalton scoops it out of his foot. And picks the breaking ball. And strikes. But he's blocked down there. Excellently by Daniel Kiley. Who's having a fantastic game there for Belly Gunner. He's all over the place. Dalton recovers and put pressure on the Belly Gunner number 2. A real scramble here. There's going to be another throw ball. Or will Martin Kern let this play develop? Indeed he does. And here come Cush Breed again. Flick forward there by number seven, Hines. Just goes past Chambers and McCarthy. And it's picked up here by the equally impressive Harry Feeling since he entered the fray after about three minutes for the injured Tom Fitzgerald. He's having a fine game there in the halfback and cornerback line. Wherever he is, he pops up. Harry Feeling on a fantastic game. Ball inside is flicked back outside here. And a chance for number seven, Donna Cooney, to get a score here. Looks like it's going to drop over the crossbar. Indeed it does. So a second point of the day for the Bally Gunner, number seven, Dunna Cooney. And he stretches their lead back out to four points again. Bally Gunner after that slight wobble at the start. The second half starting to regain their composure here. And they've got the last two scores. Keen O'Brien looking there for Hines. Hines gathers it the first time of asking. Opens the shoulder, tries to play it inside there, but clever play there. By the half back line and full back line of Bally Gunner. Cut out that ball by Daniel Kiley, who then hand passed it out to Rob Maguire who looks inside for that, those dangerous players inside. Stephen Roach doing a great job there and Whitty. Stuck to his task manfully and gathers that ball. Have to strike off his left-hand side. Tries to flick it out cleverly. And here go Cushbreed again. Really working the ball out there through Shane Martin up to Tom Dalton. Dalton blocked down the last time. This time more cautious with the strike. Plays it up here to Callum McCarthy and he's fouled. And it's going to be a chance here for Cushbreed. To have another shot at goal from a place ball. I'm sure it'll be Padraig Hines. Or is it going to be Tom Dalton? Dalton decides to take a quick look at inside for Henley. It's 2-1-1. On just ball bounces just in front of him. And goes over his hurley. But he tries to rectify it. Puts pressure on Kylie. Kylie Cam. He plays it back there to Keane Troy. And he plays it over the top there to Owen Cuddy. Cuddy thought about hitting the ball. But he's going to be apprehended now by his opposite number. Jack McDonald. Out here to De Delahunty. Delahunty shortens the grip, tries to play it over the top, looking inside there for Whitty. It's over the head of Whitty, though, and Roach in towards the goalie there. Keen O'Brien just fumbles that one and gives Whitty a chance to put pressure on him. He blocks down the goalkeeper. Half block down ball, breaks outside here to number three, Hurley. Hurley looking down the line here for McCarthy again, the man who was fouled previously. Tries to keep this ball in front of him, trying to use his pace. He still has it in front of him. Can he pick the ball? Third time of asking for the. Cushbury number 15 wearing the yellow helmet he turns inside is he going to be fouled again no says Martin Curran play on and it's going to be a line ball great pressure there from the belly gunner players stuck to their task didn't foul Callum McCarthy this time and forced them over the sideline it's going to be a line ball just inside the 65 yard line here for belly gunner so 1-1 one, one the second half so far here for Cushbury and two points for belly gunner ball inside here looking for witty Two, valley, two Cush Breed players have it and indeed it's number 14 Shane Cronin has it looks to play it back to his goalkeeper there fumble the last one but takes more care with this one off to the hurley Keen O'Brien Lenehan breaks out of his own full back line plays it just over the head there Chambers and into the hands of Maguire Maguire looks to spray it back inside but excellently read inside there by the number 14 Cronin Cronin plays it out Number four, Ian Martin. He looks to play it down the line there. Just comes off the fingertips there of Jack McDonald <laughs> into the hands there of Cuddy. 
Cuddy goes through the 45, he's been stood up there by Shane Crone and plays back to Delahunty. Delahunty shoots, but it's going to drop short here into the hands of Keane O'Brien once again, and he comes out past the 13 yard line, assesses his option, and lets it go long down the middle. Three Valley Gunner players there against Paul Hines. Can he gather the ball? Oh, fantastic catch there by Cooney, but just he hits the ground, the ball bobbles out of his hand. Can Hines gather it? He has it. Can he get away? Is his helmet stuck in the other player's helmet? I think it is. Very little that Tommy Feeling could do there. I think the helmets were locked together there. Podrick Hines' head looked like he buried inside of the chest there. Tommy Feeling, he's protesting his innocence, saying, what could I do? But it's going to be a free in here for Cush Breed. And I'm sure Podrick Hines will take this one himself and look to get his third score of the day. He's 46 metres out from the Valley Gunner goal. More or less in line with that left-hand post. The last one he dragged left and wide. This time, slightly closer to the goal. We expect him to put this one over. 41 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock here. 13 points, plays 9. 4 point lead currently for Ballygunner. Cushbreed have manfully battled their way into this game. This time he strikes it low and hard and indeed. Slightly to the right, but it's over the bar there from Padraig Hines. Another score there for the number 7 for Cushbreed. Keen try asking the Valley Gunner half forward to open up the play so he can strike it with legs to go sharp, but it drifts through the feet there from Maguire. It's going to be picked up here by Callum McCarthy. Bumps into Padraig Hines. Hines has it. He's been tackled by number 19, Harry Phelan, who's having a fantastic game there. And he plays it low inside, trying to drift that ball in head height, but it breaks through the players. That's going to be picked up by who else but Owen Lennon, who's having a fantastic game there in the half back line. He plays it calmly out there to Shane Martin. Martin off the left hand side, tries to play it inside there to the two goal hero. Henley is Henley pulled down. No play on to the referee. Maguire, the centre half back, picks it and he. Lovely hurley pass inside there to number 13, Max Sweeney, and he should be putting this one over the bar. Free shot from 45 yards out, but he drills it right and wide. So another wide there for Owen Max Sweeney. They'll be disappointed with their shooting. Usually the river goal here in Farfield is a shooting goal, but tonight it seems to be the goal that the both teams are finding it difficult to score into. Puck out there on top of Hines, but it's batted forward by Cooney, picked up here by Nolan. Been relatively quiet here in this second half. Has a chance to shoot here. Takes on Hurley on the outside. Can he use his pace to get outside him? Strikes that one off to Hurley, be a great score if he gets it, but another one drops to the right and wide. Head and hand stuff here from the belly gunner line and the subs. They're disappointed with the shooting into that river goal, just as the Cush Breed sideline were in a similar situation in the first half. Ball into the corner there towards Daniel Kiley. Kiley tries to scoop that one out, but he's apprehended there. And here's Tom Dalton. Dalton tries to break off to the right hand side, shoots this one. Looks like it's going to stay inside. Oh, just at the last minute, drifts left and wide. So a wide there from Tom Dalton. Disappointed there, but fantastic work there with the Cush Breed players. Really working hard there to overturn the Bally Duff or the Bally Gunner, I should say, defence there. That ball broke out to Tom Dalton, looked to shoot off his right-hand side. Troy goes down, his left-hand side, looking in for his number 11 there, Gavin Buckley. Scramble between three or four players there on the far side. It's picked up here by Martin. Shane Martin really coming to this game, but no free, and, cut, and Buckley picks it up, but he steps over the sideline, tries to flick it over the head there of a Cushbury player, but the flag is up on the far side there. Great play there from the Cushbury defenders. Forced Buckley to step over the sideline there, and it's going to be a line ball here for Cushbury. Line ball there, it's picked up by Lennon. Hurley steps in there and blocks the belly gunner player. And it's picked up here by Hines. Hines gone over the 65 yard line, over carrying there against Hines, working really hard back in his own half back line there. But Martin Kern lows him for steps there, just as he looked like he was gaining momentum and breaking up the field. And Nolan is going to go back and take this one just outside his own 65. Tries to drop it inside that Dana Sul four line. Shane Cronin comes out. Picks it at the third time, Vaskin doesn't get it. It's knocked away from him by McSweeney. Cronin goes after it again. 
fantastic play by the cut breed number 14 went after that ball three four times plays it out there to replace with number 16 chambers takes a heavy hit there ball's broken away from him and tommy feeling gathers it and number nine there jack mcdonald steps in and fouls the bally gunner number eight overzealous play there from jack mcdonald gives a chance here for darren nolan but looks like he's gonna leave this one here to keen troy we saw troy run up the far side of the field in the first half there looking for a short free from Nolan this time he's going to come up and hit the free himself so it's on the 65 yard line Keane Troy can he stretch Bally Gunner's lead back out to a 4 point lead it's currently 13 points plays 2-4 Liam Dalton of course former Watford player on the sideline here issued instructions in Troy lifts and strikes plays it short but doesn't catch it right maybe over clever play here from Bally Gunner, but Nolan might rescue the situation here but doesn't catch that cleanly Troy might have been better off to shoot for his score himself that's the second time those two players haven't made really progress out of there a free down towards Callum McCarthy trying to gather that ball hands on the sideline here from the Cushbury mentors they felt that was a free fantastic play there by Callum McCarthy held up the ball there under pressure from three or four Bally Gunner players and then Padraig Hines nipped in to pick up that breaking ball he was held back And it's going to be a free here for Cushbury. Looks like Cushbury are going to make a change here. Kieran Lennon, who did not start the game, looks like he's going to come in. He was named to start, but he was replaced in the start line by number 15, Callum McCarthy. And it looks like he's going to enter the fray here now with 47 minutes on the clock in Fraherfield. Be interested to see what change Cushbury make. Looks like it's going to be number 13 there. So Adam McSweeney with the yellow helmet looks like he's going to come off. And Kieran Lennon is going to go into that full forward line. Fantastic strike there by Padraig Hines. So another score from him. His fourth score today, 2-5, plays 13 points. Following that free from Bally Gunner with a chance to strike the ball. Keane tried, tried to play it short to Darren Nolan. Ball was lost and always up now. And Cush Breed have a score to bring it back to a two-point game. So a try strikes this one. It's going to go long down. He's looking for Darren Nolan to half forward position. Ball breaks past him, it's picked up there by De La Hunty, but he can't get it and it's knocked away. And here is Witty. Witty gets it in the third time basket. He flicks it into his hand. He steps back outside. He's looking for Nolan. Nolan tries to flick it up, gets it in the second time basket. He loses the hurling attack. It plays inside there to De La Hunty. De La Hunty steps inside. Heavy shoulder there from Lenehan. De La Hunty still going. Play on to the referee. Fantastic play there by Lenehan. Hurley inside the Cush Breed line. That ball is cleared outside here to replacement. Chambers has it. Just lose it, gets it a third time basket, but drops the ball again, just can't get into his hand under pressure from two, three Bally Gunner players. He's still after it, he gets it finally. He's pinned against the sideline, tries to hand pass it inside, tries to blick frick it, but only goes as far as Witty. Hurley across Witty there by number three. Hurley, and it's going to be a free here, and we could have our first yellow card after 48 minutes and 50 seconds here. It's going to be number nine, Jack McDonald. Not number 13 is going to be replaced. Number nine, Jack McDonald replaced by number 11. Kieran Lenehan comes on to the team. Real speed, Sir Lenehan gets the ball in his hand here. Very skillful player for Cush Breed. So it's going to be Darren Olin. I'm sure he'll shoot for a point this last time. Try look to go short there. Maybe over clever play from the Bally Gunner players this last time. They should be taking their scores here. They've allowed Cush Breed to creep back into this game here. 2-5 is 11, 13 for Bally Gunner. They'll be slightly disappointed when we two points ahead with only 10 minutes to go here. Halfway between the 45 and the 65. Is that one going to stay right and wide? It is. So another wide on that side for Nolan. So with over 10 minutes to go, Cush Breed, two points down. They'll be very happy with that after the opening 15 minutes of this game. Ball broken there. It's picked up by Phelan. He's going to strike from 45 yards out. Has it got the leg score? The bar is going to drop into the hand there. Second ball dropped into the goal tonight. I think that one drops in. Oh, fortuitous goal there for Tommy Field, the midfielder. Keen O'Brien thought he had that one. Came off the top of his fingertips and dropped into the goal behind him. So 113 plays 2 5 here. And that puck out now is claimed by number nine there. Cuddy, he sprays it back to his number five, Maguire. Maguire opens the shoulders and looks to play it inside here. It's number 11, Buckley. 
Buckley races out to this one, turns his man, he's gone towards the goal, Shane Cronin has chased him, he's going to strike it off his left hand side, and it stays left and wide, a real lucky break there for Bally Gunner, but we must say it might even out, the lucky break that Cush Breed got, so 113 is 16 points, 2-5 is 11, and this puck out's going to be intercepted now, and it's picked up by Witty. Witty's inside, hand pass to Nolan, Nolan's through the 21, he's got a player outside him, just into the hurley there, Buckley, Flicks it in, hits the crossbar and bounces out. Max Sweeney thought that one was in. He did hands out in the air celebrating and it hit the crossbar and bounced back outside. Lifeline here for Cush Breed. Low ball up the line there towards Hines. Hines has it. He's been faced up by two, three players. Plays down the line to Chambers. Chambers opens the shoulders. Strikes it towards goal. Out comes Keane Troy. Calmly gets that one just in front of Kieran Lenehan. And Troy is on his own 21 yard line just on the edge of the strikes long. It's going to go inside real end to end stuff here now in Farfield. Max Sweeney tries to tip that one away from Roach. He gets it the second time Vaskin. Has a runner off the shoulder. Stara Nolan takes a touch in the hurley then into the hand. Doesn't catch it cleanly. Bounces dangerously in front of the goalkeeper. And just as it looked like Bally Gunner will get another goal there. Goalkeeper nips out, takes it off the hurley of Witty, and it's out for a 65. Number 10 here, Darren Nolan, staying out injured after striking that ball. Looked like he turned on his ankle or his knee there. Hopefully not a bad injury or could be cramped, maybe not sure. Looks like it's cramped with her, stretching the leg. But it's going to be a 65 for Bally Gunner. But just over eight minutes of normal time left here in Farfield. 113 for Bally Gunner, 2-5 for Cush Breed. And Keane Troy is going to come up and take this one. The last time he was in this territory, of course, he tried to play that short free to Darren Nolan. So Ballygunner won't want to lose Darren Nolan. We said 10 points in their Eastern final victory over Aaron's own. Six so far here today. So Tom Dalton strikes that ball to Keane Troy to get, let him take that 65. 40 seconds with that injury there. I'm sure Martin Kern had all those seconds in and give Cushbreed every opportunity. So Troy lifts and strikes, keeps the trajectory of that one low and it's straight over the crossbar. So 114 for Bally Gunner. Plays 2-5, so 17 plays 11 here, six point lead for Bally Gunner as we approach the last five minutes of this game here. 53, 30 on the clock. I'm sure there'll be a minute or two of extra time. Puck out on top of Padraig Hines here and Cooney. They've been side by side all night, the two number sevens. Nolan tries to flick that one inside but it's broken away there and here's Hines. This time Delahunty's with him, but no sooner I say that that Cooney's in trying to get a tackle on him. Picked up here by number three, who's been relatively quite Tony Brennan tonight. He plays it outside there, looking for Witty. Witty steps inside. He's gone through the 65. He's faced up here by Shane Martin. He'll try and step inside Martin. He's gone using his pace here. Will he strike off the left? Could it be three catches? It was three catches. So it's going to be a free out here for Cush Breed. Just as it looked like Witty was about to pull the trigger and knock that one over a bar off his left-hand side. He put the ball into his hand and Martin Kern rightfully called for a third catch and a chance here for Owen Lennon to clear his lines. So Lennon lifts and strikes down into that right-hand corner. Looking for Callum McCarthy, but it bounces off McCarthy's hand. Ball onto the ground end. Three Valley Gunner players with it and it's picked up by number... Five there, strikes Rob Maguire. He strikes it long inside, looking for that inside line. Over the head there, Max Sweeney. Is he going to win a foot race here with Shane Cronin? Cronin swipes the hurley across. Chop says the referee, it's going to be a free in. And the belly gunner sideline calling up here. Keen try, it'll waste another 30 or 40 seconds. All the experience there, the belly gunner sideline running down the clock here. 114 plays 2 5. Fantastic play on the far side there by Owen Cuddy who won that ball on the far side, the number nine for Bally Gunner. Played it back to Rob Maguire and he struck the ball long into that dangerous full forward line and just Max Sweeney got the step on Shane Cronin who had no option he felt but to try and dispossess the Bally Gunner attacker. Swiped across him and took him down as a chance here for Keane Troy to get his second score in a row the goalkeeper. This time he's all at 30 metres out as all dead straight in front of the goals more or less when he expected to put this one over. He lifts and strikes and over the bar indeed 115 plays 2-5 two, 2 points so far for Keane Troy Keane O'Brien goes long down the middle looking for Hines who else 
Breaks through Hines there. Callum McCarthy tries to go after, but here's Tony Brennan really coming to the game there, but ships a heavy tackle there from Podrick Hines, who came from distance, caught the Bally Gunner number three there as he was bent down to pick up the ball, and another chance here for Bally Gunner. One wonders, is that Cusp Reed's chance gone? That goal, that fortuity dropped through the hands there of Keane O'Brien could have been the one that ended the Cush Breed challenge. I'm going to have a change here to Bally Gunner team number 18. Colin Duffin's going to enter the fray for the Eastern Champions. He's going to replace, looks like it's going to be number 17, who's Delahunty. So Ross Delahunty is going to come off, and number 18 is going to go on to the team there, Colin Duffin. Restart here with Keane O'Brien. So we have another change here. Number six, Darius Bland is going to come on to the Cush Bree team. He's going to replace number 15, Callum McCarthy. Did very well in the first half. Slightly struggled here in the second half to get on the ball on that far side of the pitch. And number six, Darius Bland is going to come on to the fray here. So 115 for Bally Gunner, 2 5 for Cush Breed. 18 points, plays 11 here. Seven point game here, 57 minutes on the clock. Surely to have two or three minutes of injury time here with the number of substitutions made by both teams. So Keane O'Brien, he strikes out to the right-hand side here. Ball's going to drop. Who's going to gather this one? Cush Breed might need another goal here. It's with the right man now, though. Podrick Hines, he's racing towards the goal, but he's been chased down by two, three players. Dispossessed there. Number 12, Witty, all the way back in his own half-back line. Dispossessed. Podrick Hines, a long ball inside here. Looking for the subs who just come on. Duffin tries to flick it, but the ball runs through here to Owen Lenhan. Lenhan opens the shoulders, looking back down inside for where Hines is remaining inside that half forward line. He tries to flick it through to Chambers. Chambers tries to get it. He's still chasing the ball. Just drops that one at the pivotal moment and it falls onto the ground. It looks like it's going to be picked up here with a centre half back. No, it's not. It's number seven, Donna Cooney, who's had a fantastic game and he's going to get a free out here. The impressive Donna Cooney, two points so far in today's game. Won that ball in his own half back line, charged out and was pulled down by one of the Cush Breed attackers. And it's going to be another chance here for Keane Troy to clear his lines and relieve the pressure. So Keane Troy on his own 45 yard line stands over this one. Bally Gunner trying to play the corners here, but Troy looks like he's going to go long, try and drop it in. Right on top of the six-yard area, it's blocked out inside there by Shane Cronin. Goalkeeper, Keane O'Brien just cleans that one up and plays out to Tom Dalton, who's always back in his own half-back line. I'm sure the Cush Breed supporters might want to see him up in the forward line. He's been faced up here by his opposite number, Darren Olin. Dalton assesses his op options, has to force to play it across the field there. Looking for number 11, Kieran Lennon, who's come on. He breaks out there. To Jay Kenley. Henley judged a foul. He's marker there. It's going to be a free out for Bally Gunner. Just being announced there. We're going to have three minutes of extra time here at the end of this game. So, in total, four minutes here for Cush Breed to try and reclaim this seven point deficit they currently stand at. And once again, Keane Troy comes out for the goal to hit this free. He's halfway between his own 45 and the 65 yard line. 10 yards in from that left-hand touch line. The last ball he drilled right in on top of the Cushbury goal. Will he play the corners this time? Or is he going to drill it in? Looks like he's going to drill it into the same place again. Just comes off the fingertips of Owen Lenehan there, but it's gathered inside there by number 14, Shane Cronin, who's had an outstanding game in that back line for Cushbury. He plays out to the hard work and Tom Dalton. Dalton has it, takes on his man. It's number 13 there, Owen McSweeney. Steps inside him. McSweeney's chased him hard, trying to flick it off the ball under pressure there. Dalton wins the free, but Bally Gunner won't mind that. It's 100 yards from their own goal. You'd feel a Cush Breed will be forced to drop this one in around the small square. So Tom Dalton bang on the halfway line here. Will he drop this one or knock it over the crossbar? They're going to need three scores, two goals and a point at least to make a draw of it. This one just to the left. Can they flick it in? 
good flick in there but it came into the hands there of Keane Troy it was Padraig Hines just managed to get a flick on that one as the ball was dropping into the square it's out to Lenehan Lenehan is going to try and put this one over the bar indeed he does so a score there for Owen Lennon. he's got a score in the last two games he's matched that here today in the county final will be too late for the Cush Breed side so number 11 Gavin Buckley is going to be replaced by number 14 Aidan O'Brien on the Batty Gunner team so number 14 Aidan O'Brien enters for Gavin Buckley Try goes short to Maguire and gets it back. We've seen that one before with Saki and Barry Cockton in the full back line for Valley Gunner. And now it's driven long inside to the 45 yard line. And the replacement, O'Brien, is in on that one. It's picked up here by Tommy Field and he's gone away from Hurley. Can he shorten the Hurley and flick it over the bar? Indeed he does. It's be a fantastic score, but it drops into the hands there of Keen O'Brien, who brings it off out to the right hand side. He's got Shane Crone outside him, but this time he's under pressure, has to pay towards Roach. Roach under pressure there from Whitty. But Roach managed to rectify the situation, rolls the ball up into his chest and plays it. a lovely ball out there to Lenehan. Lenehan now over the shoulders, just doesn't catch it right, pops up into the air. It's going to go over the head of Chambers, but it's gathered inside there by Padraig Hines. He's gone into the full forward position, he's gone towards the D. He's going to be pulled down there by number nine, Cuddihy. If you could call it a professional foul in her, and I think there's one example of it. We've seen, we saw it last weekend and we see it here now in Farfield. Number nine there, Owen Cuddihy pulls down the day, there's Padraig Hines. And stops the play, and it's surely going to be a yellow card here for the Valley Gunner number nine. So indeed it is yellow card, but taking away the goal scoring opportunity there from Hines. It'd be difficult to see him getting a score from here. Other than a point if he drills this one low and hard. So he's about 25 metres from the Valley Gunner goal. Time almost up here. Maybe a minute of time left here. One fifteen is 18, plays 2 6 is 12. They're going to need two goals here. So he has to go for a goal. Martin Curran going to cut out that pushing and shoving inside in the small square there. Three Cush Breed players trying to blind or block the Bally Gunner players standing inside in the small square there. Keen try out to the front of four or five Bally Gunner players. Hines lifts and strikes, tries to top spin into the goal. Just goes beyond the first player, Maguire. But Keen try gathers it and he's dragged back. It's going to be a chance for a free out here. And one feels that might be Cush Breed's opportunity gone here in this County C Hurling Championship final sponsored by JJ Cavanagh and Sons. And Troy naturally knocks it outside there to Cuddy, the man who took down Padraig Hines. He fumbles the ball and it's that man Hines in there again working hard. He picks it. Can he get it running towards the goal? He's going to be forced to strike it. He looks inside. There's two Cush Breed players there. One of them is Lennon. Can he get the ball in his hand? The man has played in the half back line in the whole game. He's now moved up into the forward line. He's going to be held out here by Chambers. Chambers have it. Number three there, Tony Brennan just got a vital touch that slowed down the play a small, but Chambers still has it. He tries to kick it out there towards Martin, Shane Martin, but the ball's on the ground. Martin has it. Can he hand pass it out? He's inside. Can he get a shot? Another pull back there, and surely another yellow card. The second time we've seen that now from the Bally Gunner players. Henley tries to take that one quickly with his Bally Gunner number nine stood in front of him, so it's going to be another chance here. This time, Tom Dalton's going to have a pop off this one. Time up here in Farfield. Can push, push Breed get what one feels is a consolation score here? Tom Dalton lifts and strikes, drives it into the ground. Will it go through? Goes past Troy with the player on the line there. And it was number 12 there, Charlie Whitty, all the way back in his own full back line. He stopped that. That's the final action here in Farfield. 63 57 on the clock. Bally Gunner captured this under 20C Waterford County Hurling Championship. Sponsored by JJ Kavanagh and Sons. 1.15 for Bally Gunner, 2.6 for Cush Breed. Fantastic game of hurling here in Farfield. Player of the match, perhaps, Darren Nolan in the first half. But that second half, Nolan slightly quieter. Tommy feeling consistent throughout the game. Probably hard to pick a player of the match. Two or three players for Bally Gunner, really, to the four. Owen McSweeney, Charlie Whitty, and Darren Nolan in the first half. Owen Lenehan, Tom Dalton, and Paul DeCoynes, really to the four for the Cush Breed side. Fantastic game here. Bally Gunner looked like they had maybe let Cush Breed back into it but in the end Bally Gunner run out deserving victors 115 2 6 6 point victory for the Eastern Champions in this under 20C Hurling County Final Come on Luke Scale Kisha County Port Larraga I'd like to welcome you all here to Farfield this evening for the final of the JJ Kavanagh and Sons uh, County under 20C Hurling Championship I would like to congratulate Cush Breed and Bally Gunner on winning their respective titles in the West and East Waterford and representing their clubs with pride and distinction here in the county final this evening. As a word of thanks to the 
players, the team mentors, team management and the parents from board clubs and their supporters uh, for being in attendance here tonight. Also a word of thanks to our referee, Martin Corden, and his match officials, linesmen and umpires, without whom it would not be possible to play our games. So I think we should show our appreciation to our match officials. <laughs> to our sponsors, JJ Kavners, they have been great supporters of the association in the county in the last number of years and are con continuing to do so, and we hopefully w they will be with us again going forward into 2023. On the night, Barry Gunner came out on top, but full credit to Cush Breed, he fought to the bitter end, uh, it was nip and tuck, he brought it back to within a few pints there at one stage, but uh, he just couldn't get that next score to make it closer still. But well done, he had a great year, he was successful as well in, in minor football championship, so well done to Cush Breed on their achievements this year. <laughs> to Barry Gunner, uh, it's another county title, going out the Dunmore Road, as the man says. Commiserations to Barry Gunner in the senior championship last weekend. You were worthy representatives of Waterford and Munster in the All-Ireland semi-final. It wasn't to be years on the day, but you were worthy All-Ireland champions going into that game, and no doubt that you will be back in the not-too-distant future. Now, without, without further ado, I will now present the cup to the giant captains uh, Keen Try and Rob Maguire. Thank you very much. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Eastern Board for having Farfield available for us. It's or the Western Board, sorry. Uh, it's great to have such a good pitch in good condition this time of the year, so thanks very much. Uh, for everyone coming out and supporting, it's great to see you all here after a tough weekend for the club. It's great coming out, having a crowd here, having great support. Uh, I'd like to thank the ref and his officials for a good, good clean, fair game. Uh, um, I'd like to thank Cush Reed for a fair game. Uh, we really had to prepare for you lads. We knew you were a brilliant team. You are a brilliant team to be fair for you, to you. And you have some extremely talented hurlers. I know you lost tonight and it's tough, but I've no doubt it'll just make you stronger again for next year. So three cheers for Cush Breed, the lads. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Uh, for the lads around me, I don't think I've been part of a, a younger team, to be honest. We were only... We were a point away last year. We lost the final by a point last year. Most of the lads on the team weren't even on the team last year. So for them to come on and have the same commitment and the courage to scrap it by the horns and come back and win it again this year is brilliant. So thanks, lads. And <laughs> finally, finally, uh, for our coaches, Philip, Kenny, Sheeners, Clancy, Mikey, uh, Squelchy, Billy, Lemmer, Mick, Mark, anyone else who came out, I hope I'm not forgetting you lads. It's brilliant. Some of those, some of those lads on the senior Bally Gunner team have just such a busy schedule and for them to put in as much hours onto this team as we do is just brilliant. We really appreciate the support. I know it was tough on Sunday for you, tough day for the club, but I'm just proud we can go out and win it for you and win it for the club today. So we really appreciate everything you've done for us for the whole year, so thanks very much, lads. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it, lads, well done. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much.